Hey YouTube, it's Milmer here with another PSA forward slash tutorial. Um, and as you've probably guessed from the title, in this uh, tutorial thing will be on terminal and just some basic commands on that. Um, so yeah, the reason why this video is not a normal video uh, is because I really wanted to get something out here today to guys that was kind of of value, not just a random PSA like my last one, like something that you could actually learn a tiny bit from that you didn't know before. Uh, because the I haven't really been doing very much tutorials recently because I've had exams. Um, you know, I've uh, I've got two more exams and they were in the la next two weeks. So I've got one next week and one the week after. So I've been revising this week and I will be revising a little bit next week. Um, but I actually want to start getting back into my tutorials again. Now, obviously, I'm still in school, so uh, I I won't be doing tutorials like in the week. Um, but I will be doing them on the weekends. So hopefully, I'll get two done on the weekends. Like pretty much every weekend, hopefully. Now, bearing in mind I am still in school, so if I get like a big project or something, then I might only do one. So, yeah, uh, if you follow me on my Twitter, I will actually post stuff and I'll post if I'm not doing a video or something, so you will be uh, um, kind of notified about that. Uh, little annotation thing should pop up on the uh, video here, and there will be a link in the description as well. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Basically, hopefully, next week I'll be starting my new series on UI table views because on my last video, that's where the competition kind of started. Not competition, but kind of a poll or vote or whatever. Um, and UI table views won by far as there were no votes for UI view animations. So, yep, that's that. And um, I don't know about this, guys. Uh, I'm still going to be doing Objective-C tutorials, which is kind of what iPhone is programmed in. Um, but I don't know, maybe I might start doing some Java tutorials, uh, a little bit on that. I'm not entirely sure yet, guys, so just, you know, leave a comment if you like that idea or not. I don't know. Um, and also, just a quick note, thanks for all the subscribers, guys, because when I started this, this channel, I thought, you know, coding, not many people do coding, and I don't think many people would like to get into coding, I don't know, so I didn't think I was going to get that many subscribers anyway, plus I'm kind of a novice, I'm not a proper professional tutorial maker. So again, thanks for all the subscribers, I've got I think oh, 285 now and it's slowly rising, but thanks a lot guys. Um, so yeah, th a huge thanks for that, I know it's not a lot, but to me it means a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, and uh, just a quick note, <laughs> um, kind of self-promotion here, but... I am free to make any uh, YouTube apps or Twitter apps for people. Um, so if you've got a YouTube channel and you want an app for it so people can have a look at your videos and stuff, I can make one for you. So it will link to your YouTube channel, a Facebook page if you have one, your Twitter account if you have one, and you know emails or contacts to your... or whatever you want, you give me the specifications and I'll hopefully make it for you. So I'm just open for that, just PM me for that. Um, but of course, like the... Uh, um, the title said we're going to be doing a bit of terminal or Unix. So if I just open terminal here, you can see uh, this is the main terminal window. I'll just make it bigger by doing that. Now you probably won't get this design of terminal um, because there are different uh, kind of looks of terminal. You can actually change its look. So if you go here to shell and select a new window, you'll probably have this window. So this is the one you'll probably start out with. But if you go shell and down here, you can see you've got loads of different uh, different kind of styles. So that's grass there, uh, novel. And as you can see, you can just explore them by yourself. If you want your own customized one, uh, you can go down to uh, terminal and then go to preferences. And you can see here, it opens up a little settings thing and you can go to startup and that will choose what uh, the startup window is. So I've selected mine as pro. Um, you can change the settings here, so these are the settings for the different uh, the different looks, so uh, the different styles. So I've made my own one here called Pro Red, which I basically copied Pro, but changed the green, the colour to red. So if I just open my Pro Red here, you can see it looks just the same as Pro, it's just uh, with a red font. So I'm not going to be using that in this tutorial because it might look, uh, you might not be able to see it very well, or the red might be a bit harsh on your eyes. Um, so I'm just going to go over a few basic commands. Um, so the first one is obviously going to be CD. Now you 
probably that means nothing to you or you might if you've used terminal before but CD basically allows you to move from folder to folder so at the moment you can see this is where I am I'm in Jimbo which is my account on the Mac so that's where I am so if I um, if I go CD and then choose a file I can go in there so if I go CD and then desktop if I can spell desktop right desktop like that you can see now I'm in desktop, so it says desktop Jimbo, so that's where I am. Um, so if I wanted to have a look inside my desktop, I can type in ls and then just press enter. And that will tell me all the stuff in my, um, in my desktop. So as you can see, I've got my apps, Java coding, which is why I said at the start of the video, I uh, might do doing stuff on that because I'm playing around that. Photoshop, YouTube, music, blah, blah, blah. And this is just a test project I did for Xcode, testing for strings. Um, anyway, enough about that. So as you can see, I've got all that. And if you have a look at my desktop, oh, okay, um, I've hidden it. One second, let me just unhide it. Show desktop. That was weird. I changed the background. Why did the... Doesn't matter about that. Don't know why the background changed. Um, as you can see, we have all those files there. And we also can see the uh, files on my other monitor, which is over here let me just grab them uh huh there we go there's my other stuff my other files um anyway so there's enough of that now we can also go inside these files as well by just going cd and then i want to go in my apps folder so now i'm in my apps folder ls i can see all my apps here now to get up a folder to go back out i go cd and then space dot dot and that will take me up one so at the moment i'm in apps if i type cd dot dot I'm now back in desktop, so that's one higher. So, uh, yep, as you can see, I'm now back out. Now, say if I didn't want to, let me just go back up to Jimbo here. Say I didn't want to have to go desktop, then apps, then this and the other. I can go CD, and then I can actually type out the file paths. So I'm in Jimbo, so I go to my desktop, then I go forward slash for the next part. I want to go back into apps. So you can see I jump straight to apps here. I'm, I'm straight in apps and I can go ls and uh, there's all my apps again. So cd dot dot and cd dot dot. I'm back in Jimbo again. So I'm going to give you a couple commands now on how to actually um, make a file and delete files and do little bits like that. So um, <clears throat> if I just go to my desktop here, desktop, and I'm going to make a new file on my desktop. Now, files in Terminal or Unix are actually called DIRs or directories. So if I go MK, short for make, and then DIR, that means make directory, and now I need to give it a name. So I'm in desktop, I'm making a new directory, and I'm going to call it hello. So now if we go back to our desktop here, um, oh, here it is, it's got mixed up with the other one here. So if I drag it away, see, you can see here, here is hello. Now, say if I actually meant to name that something else, I can uh, go MV for move, but it also means rename. So if I go MV, hello, so I'm going to rename the folder hello, and then I go space to this, hello, and then underscore YouTube. Now, as you can see, if I go back to my desktop here, our file is now being renamed to hello YouTube. Now let's say I wanted to move YouTube to somewhere else. Let's say I wanted YouTube in the YouTube folder on my desktop. I can go MV, hello, YouTube. Make sure I spell it exactly the same, just like in normal coding. And then I'm going to choose the folder I want to move it into. So I want to move it into my YouTube folder. So as you can see, if we go back to our desktop, YouTube has now disappeared. And if we go into our YouTube folder, Oops, like that, and then ls, we can see just here is our new YouTube folder. Now to get rid of that folder, we can just go rm for remove, and then dir because it's a directory, so remove directory, and then the name, so hello underscore YouTube, like that. And now if we ls again, we can see it is now disappeared. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we go out of there and out of there, so now we're back in Jimbo again. So now I'm just going to give you a couple of little commands that you might find helpful. So let's say my Docker's frozen. It's not working at all. I can go kill 
all dock and that will just reset my dock none of the applications will quit but the dock will reset and it will just quit everything the dock's doing all its animations and then it should reset it so now my dock's now working again say if the same thing happens to finder now if you've got a Mac, which you should if you're watching this video, um, you will find that Finder, if you quit it, you can't actually quit it. But if I type in kill all Finder, this will now reset my Finder. So if you have a look here, if I type in enter, Finder loses its blue dot and then it regains it again. So that's just resets Finder. Um, so, yep, yeah, that's if something crashes. Um, just a little quick thing that you might want. If you type in say and then the thing you want to say, uh, sorry about that guys, my volume was down so I'm just cut out and then turn my volume up and then we're back. Um, so if you type in say hello, hello, you can see growl which is installed on the computer says hello for me. Um, I can tell it what voice to say with by typing say and then dash v and then whatever voice I want. So if, if I want to use the bubbles voice, I can type in say v bubbles and then hello. You can see there's the bubbles voice. I want to say in the good voice. I go say the good and then hello. Hello. See, there you go. Um, so yeah, that's just random stuff you might want. So yeah, and a quick way to play games. If you type in Emacs, you should open this little program here. Then if you type escape, and then X. So if you see down here, there's a little command line you can type into. So uh, there's a couple of games you can play. So there's a couple of my uh, Unix or terminal commands. So uh, I hope you liked, guys. Just a quick little video with a PM at the start. So, yep, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Leave me a comment on what you think about Java coding. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. So, yep, thanks for watching, and see you in my next video.